Hey guys, several months ago, I got one of these little portable generators just to be able to charge up cell phones and have lights and stuff like that during a power outage. And then just a short time later, I actually got a much bigger one uh, just to give me more days and to be able to run uh, routers and modems and stuff like that so we could have internet during power outages. And um, yeah, this one gives a little more long term. Well, these have to be charged up and you can charge them either by the wall charger uh, you can charge it with uh, like a car um, or with solar and as long as they're charged up obviously they work great uh, but if you don't have electricity and you run them all up and let's just say you wouldn't have gas kind of decided i want to have a way of long term charging these up and so in comes this right here, it's uh, made by the same company that made the smaller generator, it's Chaffon. And this is like a briefcase style. It's an 80 watt solar panel here. It's a foldable. Uh, so let's get this thing opened up here and see what it looks like. All right, so it comes in this gray, briefcase style looking bag um, I'm not a hundred percent sure what the material is but it's soft to the touch uh, so it feels really nice it's got handles on it that has like some reinforcement uh, I don't know how much the thing weighs maybe six or seven pounds um, but it's got that so that it's a little more comfortable in your hand to, to carry it's got a pouch here in the front let's see what's included with that um, looks like some adapters. Uh, so these would be used obviously for charging those little generators that I just showed. Um, also laptops, you can uh, find whichever adapter fits your laptop, um, and plug that into it. And then a charging cable, looks like a thank you card, and then an owner's manual. Um, so, and this is a, uh, like a charge controller here. So basically what would happen is, let's get this thing opened up here. So this here, like while it's in the sun and charging, you would plug this in. And then you take the other end and you find whatever, whatever one works. I'll just use this one for example. You take that off and then you plug it into your device to charge it up. It also has, let's see if I can show you here, a USB port right there on that charge controller. So you can actually charge uh, cell phones and tablets and stuff like that uh, directly right from this. It doesn't have to go into anything else. So the panel will charge your cell phones and everything else. And then I don't know if it'll show up, but right there is a little light. It's an LED indicator light that shows when it's actually uh, charging, like when it's getting the sun to it. To open this up is pretty simple. There's two little buckles right here. You just undo them and then the thing unfolds. You see there's four panels. Um, and then you kind of have to know what time of year it is, what your latitude is, for what angle is gonna work best for you. Um, you can see here that there are eyelets on each end. Uh, there's four of them. So you can hang this up like if, if you were, had a camper or a van. Um, you know, sometimes, sometimes laying completely flat might give you the best uh, sun. Uh, usually you want an angle though, and that's where these little things in the back come into play. So I'll show you these here. They Velcro, and then they have these stop straps on it so i'm going to get this set up here and kind of show you what it looks like once these are propped up so this is what it looks like with it propped up and i'll kind of come around behind here and show it to you and you can actually put these in multiple positions um, i have it like angled the lowest right now but if you want to go higher let me set you down here all you have to do is move these so that you would be like this. And now you can see it's a completely different angle.
All right, I'm outside here with these uh, solar panels unfolded. I have uh, the charging cable hooked up in the port on the back where I showed you four, and then I also have a um, USB to lightning cable hooked up there. And I have this Jackery portable generator with me here. And so basically in order to charge this thing up, you just have to know which one of these fits in that input. And so it's this biggest one here. I'll pull that off and then I just plug it into the end and then just plug it in there. And then you can see that it's now charging and then it'll show you the watts that it's charging at. Uh, the max that this can charge at is I think 42 watts. So right now it's charging at 13. Um, I am in Ohio, it's almost winter, so the sun is not real strong. Plus I'm recording this in the afternoon, um, but even at 13 watts, it will definitely charge us up and you can see the blue indicator there. So that is definitely charging. So I'm gonna set this down there and I'm gonna move the camera down a little bit now. And then so with your USB to lightning, so I can take my iPhone, plug it in at the same time and now all of a sudden you can see that that's charging and i'll show you the little i don't know if that'll focus in or not but definitely charging up there see that there it is so that's charging just directly by the sun now a um, couple other cool things is so let's say that you're, you've used up the one usb port on the back of that well, if you have this thing here, you can plug another USB in while this is charging. And then let's say that you have a tablet or something else that you want to charge. Get this thing plugged in. And now you can see that that's charging as well. You see that that's charging up there. And so I'm gonna leave that plugged in too. And then let's say it's an emergency and you need uh, you know, batteries charged up. Well, you can take a battery charger. And again, this is all pass through charging. So I'm gonna take this battery charger and plug it in down here. And now you can just see that that just power on and I could be charging batteries from the sun. I, I could plug this directly into the back of there, but you know, like I said, I've got a phone charging now from the solar panel. I've got a tablet charging and I've got this big battery solar generator charging all at the same time from that. And again, the, the higher strength that your sun is, you know, the more, it's all about angles and degrees of it and you know time of year. Um, but right now I'm still charging, even with everything going through, I'm charging at between eight to 10 watts right now. Wanted to show you that even inside the house here, now your windows will take away a lot of the UV rays. Just to show you, see that blue light? That lets you know that it is getting uh, the solar power. So I'm gonna hook a iPad up here and show you that it is able to work. All right, got the uh, lightning cable plugged in down there. And there you go. So when you're done uh, charging up your devices, you just simply fold one side, fold the other side, and you're kind of left with that. And then just fold the two halves together then. And then the buckles will clasp that back down. There you go. Probably if I had one complaint with it, is that I do wish that this cable were a little bit longer. This is what you use to charge up your uh, laptop or one of those uh, generators. And I don't know, it's probably close to five feet in length. Um, I would actually like this to maybe be closer to like 20 feet so I could put the, uh, the solar panel outside so I get the good sunlight and then possibly I could run it inside the house. Um, that way I wouldn't have to leave a laptop outside obviously um, or even one of those generators. I don't. I might just have to build something to like put it in uh, so it's not sitting in the direct sun because uh, obviously you wouldn't want to leave your laptop in the sun for two or three hours or 
So I, I do wish that this cable were a little bit longer. But other than that, this thing's worked really well so far. So very happy with it.